that is the concerns around the coronavirus variant known as Omicron. It's a strain confirmed in at least 19 countries and territories since it was first reported in South Africa last week. And officials say it remains unclear at this hour whether symptoms are in fact worse than previous strains like the Delta variant we're currently living through. On Monday, President Biden warned that the Omicron variant will eventually come here to America while also urging all Americans to remain calm. Today, there are three messages about the new variant that I want the American people to hear. First, this variant is a cause for concern, not a cause for panic. We're learning more about this new variant every single day. And as we learn more, we're going to share that information with the American people candidly and promptly. All right. The president also said candidly and promptly that no widespread new lockdowns are coming. He once again urged all eligible Americans to get vaccinated if they're not already. And the CDC now says get boosted. A booster shot is recommended for all Americans age 18 and older. We are joined now by Dr. Francis Collins. He's director of the National Institutes of Health. Dr. Collins, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Glad to be with you, Gail, Nate, and Tony. Yes, thanks. You know, there is so much we don't know. We all know this is a very fluid situation. We don't know how dangerous this variant is. We don't know if the vaccines are effective. Dr. Fauci was here yesterday. What do we know today that we didn't know yesterday? Well, it's going to require a little patience here to get the answers, because some of these are going to take a couple of weeks uh, to figure out where we really stand. A pastor would say every uh, sermon has to have three points. We have three issues here we're trying to deal with. How contagious is Omicron? Second, how severe is the disease that it can cause? And third, do the current vaccines provide protection? I think on the first point, we know that this is pretty contagious, at least in South Africa, because the cases are going up rather steeply there. In terms of how severe it is, only new information I saw is some concern in South Africa about whether this is hitting young kids at a higher level than previous uh, variants. But that's very speculative. We don't really have rigorous data. The big question for most of us is, do the vaccines that have been put into a lot of people's arms, <laughs> including mine, do they provide protection against Against this variant the way they have with Alpha and Beta and Gamma and Delta. And we won't know that for another couple of weeks. So, Dr. Collins, it seems like there's two categories of questions here. There's the how concerning is the variant? And then the other category is where is it now? Uh, I'm curious to know, are there suspected cases here in the U.S. that our government is currently looking at? Not to my knowledge, but I will not be surprised if sometime in the next few days uh, we identify cases in the U.S. considering that this virus has found its way already into a lot of countries, including our neighbors in Canada. It would almost be surprising if we don't have a case in the next week. Dr. Collins, as we gear up for 2022, most of us were looking forward to taking the gear off and gear as in masks. Um, does this variant mean that we could possibly see more mandates and lockdowns? I don't think lockdowns are on the table. You heard the president talking about that uh, yesterday. Mask wearing, yes. I mean, we should be doing that anyway. Uh, we're, all of our focus, of course, right now is on Omicron. Keep in mind, Delta is still very much infecting people in the United States today. We are losing 1,000 people every day who die to this condition, most of them being unvaccinated. So all the things we should be doing should be doing even more so with the threat of this additional variant that May come to our shores. Yeah, well, Dr. Collins, so, so much is not clear at this hour that I'm hoping we can give some clarity to people holding hotel reservations and plane tickets and family plans for the next few weeks, looking at Christmas and the New Year's. What is your advice from a medical perspective to people planning to travel or gather in the weeks ahead? Well, I think to watch closely and see how this develops over the coming days. I don't anticipate that the U.S. is going to clamp down additional travel restrictions like they have with those eight countries in South Africa. But keep in mind, if you're an international traveler coming back to the U.S., you are required to be vaccinated and you are required to have a test uh, within one to three days before you get on the plane. And last question, Dr. Collins, would you say if you don't have the booster, you're not fully vaccinated? 
that it's not effective? I think we got to be careful about the term. Yeah, I got to be careful about the terminology. Fully vaccinated still means you got two doses of Pfizer or Moderna or one dose of J&J. &J. But if you want to be fully protected against uh, Delta and against whatever Omicron might offer us as far as a threat, that booster really helps. It bumps up your antibody levels and it broadens the range of viruses that you can be protected against in ways that reflect the cleverness of your immune system if you just give it that little encouragement, which is what the booster is. So get I the know, booster. but I keep hearing, I keep hearing if you haven't, if you're past the six to eight month mark of your second dose and two months after J&J, &J, it's no longer effective. True? That's no, that's not true. It has waned in its effectiveness. It's not as effective as it was at the beginning. Okay. And it can be a lot more effective if you get the booster, but it's get not like booster, it went yeah. away. It just got a little okay. weaker. Okay. Okay. Well, no one wants to be weaker. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dr. <laughs> Thank Dr. you. Collins. Nobody wants that. Thank you, Thank sir. Thank you all.